Hello guys, uh, what's up? Uh, in today's tutorial, I will show you uh, how to use ZAMP and SQL Yog. I have provided the installation, uh, sorry, installation, the download link of both the softwares in the description. SQL Yog is uh, a bit expensive, but I have got the free version with the serial key and uh, uh, below this video I have provided the download link with the serial key. This is the most popular tool used for uh, database administration. And uh, XAMPP control panel is used for making a local server. A is used for Apache and for MySQL and P for PHP and the next P is for Perl. So that's its abbreviation. Uh, just install it first of all XAMPP server and MySQL Yog server MySQL Yog is dependent on XAMPP control panel and without XAMPP MySQL Yog will not work yeah if you have uh, SQL workbench installed in your system uh, or if uh, SQL server is installed in your system then SQL Yog will probably work but I don't want that you people install some complicated softwares I just want to keep it simple. Okay, uh, I will uh, double click the control panel. Here you will uh, see that I have the control panel. I will start Apache server. This is local server. Well, for this tutorial, we don't need Apache server. Uh, we only want to start my SQL server here. So my SQL is started here. Now open my SQL yoke. Well, presented uh, with a window similar to this one. I have created a new connection localhost. You should also create a new connection localhost. MySQL host address is uh, localhost, the username is root, password is blank because I haven't set the password uh, in the PHP admin uh, for my SQL so I would leave this blank. If you want to set the password I will uh, show you at the end of this tutorial that how can you set the uh, password click test connection it would say connection is successful and uh, then click on connect by default uh, when you install the XAMPP control panel you have uh, some of these databases already installed the test is for you here you can insert new tables this is the interface of SQL yolk just very simple not much complicated uh, it have a new query editor I will uh, this is history and uh, you can also back up the databases as a dump and uh, this is the menu uh, well don't uh, just be confused by this whole environment you can play around with all of these tools and uh, we will be discussing all of these tools uh, in the coming tutorials so by clicking uh, name of the database the database is selected if I write show tables so in the CD column all of the tables will be presented CDs In the que this query editor is basically the graphical user interface of uh, my SQL. The graphical user interface was made for uh, the console base uh, uh, my SQL because if uh, you see in the previous era people were uh, using the console mysql operations like this one if i write mysql 
same to same uh, interface was gonna open for the user like here these commands this copyright stuff oracle and type help etc now here uh, if i wrote show databases and i would click this it would show me all the databases currently in this uh, apache server xamp control panel and if i write here show databases and would enter insert it would tell me that all of the databases it have currently inside information schema and test this is uh, basically uh, different from this because some of them are made by sqlio and some of them are, are made by php my admin if you want to create database you can also create here if you want to create database you can also create here it's up to you totally what you want to uh, do i would exact from it because we are going to use the graphical user interface our first task today is pretty simple we will create a database and the coming tutorials we will insert tables we will drop tables we will insert data we will modify data we will delete them we will sort them we will display them whatever operations that can be done on the data in the tables we will look forward to it so i would create a database create database and i would name it like uh, my db so this is the name of the my database and one was affected if i would write show data basis and i would run the query so my underscore db is focused here and if you want to use this my db what you have to do is you would write use my db before inserting a new table you have always use use my db or whatever your database name is and you would click enter and your database is currently in operation and if you want to show the tables inside this database show tables and there are no tables in this database so nothing would be displayed this was all about uh, basics of databases i haven't told you about database what is database what is this what is this because i al uh, already have did a post about what is my php and what is my sql about a brief introduction and what both of these are uh, just read them out and you will get the basic idea thank you guys for watching this tutorial and i would present more and more tutorials thanks bye